I'm Professor Andrew Pollard and I'm Director of the Oxford Vaccine Group and Chief Investigator on the Trials of the Oxford Vaccine. I'm Professor Sarah Gilbert of the University of Oxford and my role is as the developer of a new vaccine against COVID-19. Well, actually for the past nine months, uh, the team have been working on the development of a vaccine for coronavirus. So my team here in the Jenner Institute works on using a particular type of approach to making vaccines, which is very adaptable. And in the past, we've developed vaccines against other viruses such as MERS coronavirus. And that meant that we were in a very good place when it came to needing a vaccine against the SARS coronavirus. The coronavirus vaccine that we've developed works by inducing both antibodies and T cells, a type of white blood cell, and those are both important um, in fighting infection. This vaccine carries in it the genetic instructions to make the protein that's normally found on the surface of the SARS coronavirus protein, but it doesn't contain any of the rest of the SARS coronavirus, just that one protein. And what we do is use another virus to carry that gene into the body and make lots of that protein, the spike protein from the coronavirus, inside the first human cell that it gets into. And that alerts the human immune system to make a strong immune response to the spike protein. We're looking at the vaccine, first of all, in young, healthy people. We didn't see anything untoward there. You get the normal reactions after vaccination but nothing more than that. So we went on to look at it in older people and then a further group of older people and in different populations around the world. We're seeing the kind of response that you get that you would expect after vaccination. We're not seeing anything that worries us in using this vaccine. Well, at the moment, uh, what we've been testing in the trials is a two dose schedule because those two doses give strong immune responses. We know when we did clinical trials of the MERS vaccine, which is very, very similar to the, the coronavirus vaccine that we're working on now, a year after vaccination, people still had strong immune responses to the vaccine that we've given them, and we only gave those one dose. The development process for this vaccine was able to go really quickly because of the type of technology that we're using, and the fact that we've done something very similar with the vaccine against MERS coronavirus in the last couple of years. The manufacturing team here in Oxford were able to then actually make a vaccine which was of the quality that could then be given to people. And so we then started um, in April uh, with the very first human volunteers to receive the vaccine. In order to go quickly, what we've been doing is overlapping a lot of the processes. Um, and we've also been able to raise the funding much more quickly. But we haven't cut any corners on the quality or the assessment of the vaccine, or, or actually um, the numbers of people um, the vaccine is being tested in. The development of the, this vaccine has gone much more quickly than usual. We're able to do that because we've done so much work on the technology before we even started on this particular vaccine. And so people shouldn't be worried that we're going too quickly. We're being very careful to assess safety at each stage of the vaccine development process. That's always our top priority and we'll continue to do that. For those of us developing them, we're scientists. Our job is not to prove the vaccines work, but to find out whether they work and whether they're safe. Thank you.